Jaden Brown um, joins on loan from Huddersfield until the end of the season. What does he bring to the squad? Dynamic left sided defender. Um, gives it a, an option in terms of we've got the experience of Craig Woodman and, and Dean Mox who can cover that position. But this lad's going to get up and down the that touchline time and time again gives me the option if I wanted to play five at the back because he can play wing back. Physically, got the attributes, needs to get the experience of, of, of league football and lower league football. Um, but he's, he's a young player who's hungry to learn and, and wants to develop. And we're, we're thankful to Huddersfield for allowing to come here um, on loan for the rest of the season. And like I say, he strengthens the squad, gives me another option in terms of the way I want to play and, and will bring competition for places as well. And you've got Randall coming in from Watford. He's a, he's a player that's coming in on a, on a permanent signing yep. and a player who's impressed recently on loan in, in League One and, and at Watford as well. So he's, he's with a, a, yep. league, sort of like a, a good, a good league pedigree, league. yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, we were close, close in the summer, really close. Um, and I just missed out on this one, so I'm delighted to, to secure his services. Um, and he's a, the, the winger on the left side, which we've been looking for the last few months, obviously with Chio going back to, to Brentford. Um, and the fact that we've got him on a permanent, I'm, I'm delighted with because we can invest in him and develop him. Um, he's going to be one of our own for the next two and a half seasons. And hopefully we can see his progression. He can develop as a player, but also bring us success on the pitch. Um, we're, we're, we're pleased that there's no fee involved, but if he were to leave it, some stage down the line during his contract then there would be a percentage of that goes back to Watford so we appreciate what Watford have done but that's also testament to our reputation that Watford see us as the best place for, for, for Randall to come and play and um, come and get game time and come and improve and then go on to the next level look he, he's coming to a group of players who've been in good form the last six to seven games um, and he's got a fight for his space and for his uh, place in the team earn the right to play and, and hopefully he'll fit right in um, Four players in uh is there still room to bring more players in or...? Yeah, there is, there is, but I've said time and time again, I'm, I'm happy with the four players I've brought in. I feel they've improved the group. Obviously, with Jaden's departure, that was a big hole to fill. And I've said that I want to bring players who will improve the group. It's as simple as that. So we, we, we've got areas we're still looking at, but only if the right profiles and the right players come available will we move on those positions. Um, they might be more towards the, end, the next transfer window at the end of the season. So I'm happy so far with, with the the work we've done in this, this window, January is such a difficult window, it really is. Um, but testament to the, the staff for, for getting the ones in the door and, and hopefully signs. Um, and we are, we've got another best part of two weeks to, to look at m more options for us. But my also, also my focus is very much Newport at the weekend and, and taking this group of players there and, and hopefully coming back with the points. But you're always on the lookout for, for good players and, and we're always looking to improve, improve this group. Like I say, the more transfer windows I get as a manager, the more imprint I can have on the squad, um, ins and out. So, you know, there's, there's still time in the next couple of weeks. There's still room for, for players to come in. But, like I say, my concentration now, it's Thursday afternoon, definitely switched, switches to Newport.